Hello and welcome back to Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, otherwise known as H3. I'm CC Survivor, and today we're going to be doing some more Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades because there's finally been an update. It's good. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. You're going to see the screen go like this periodically. That's me looking at, um, what's it called? It's not coming to my brain. Um, the documentation for the game. So, first off, documentation for the latest update. Movement's been changed, so let's grab this, put you like so, raise it up, raise it up, why can't I raise it up? Odd, right, so yes, a few movement options have been changed, first off, we've got good old fashioned teleport to point, like so, we have super fast slide, like so, which I'm not a really fan of because it's too fast. We've got joystick movement, so if I click on that button there, we get movement, like you've seen in a few games, like we had in um, Windlands the other day. It's also in another shooter game that I forgot its name, and it's decent. I can see it being okay. I don't know how I'd like it, but hey, um, I'm going to have to do that. We've got line slide point, which is the one that I'm liking the most. A nice slow slide. I don't mind a fast slide, but I prefer this than that other slide, because that other slide is too fast to do anything when you slide. And last but not least, you've got arm swing. So if we hold one of these buttons here, that one that I'm pointing at, and swing our arms, we literally run in the direction that our head is looking. So if I do that, and like that... Oops, and I whack stuff. You can run, which is interesting. I can see it having some interesting uses. So yeah, we're going to go back to that one. Back to the main menu. Um, don't think anything else interesting here. So yeah, that's some of the main features. Um, so that's the big feature that he's been working on, the developers. is the new locomotion. Next off, wrist menu. Instead of holding down on here to bring up stuff, it's changed if we flip the controller over. We now have options. So we have our locomotion change, we have options files and all sorts of stuff to basically what we used to have. We also now have a new function. Rather than having to hold right to get the telekinetic grab, basically, you just hold on it and click now. I didn't know that was solid. But anywho, so yeah. Now that we've got that, let's go to a range, because we've got some new guns as well. Which is the thing that we all like. New guns, new content, physical content. Reworking of systems is meh. It's not, doesn't feel like much. Just like bug fixing, but this is good. Um, let's say 10 meters. Go to distance. Let's look at the documentation. Uh, oh, there's a new ammunition palming system, which I haven't actually messed around with yet. Um, he also moved the version, f the Unity engine, what this game runs on. He's moved versions, and apparently there's going to be some bugs. Game engines, updates, confusing. Things can go wrong. So, what have we got? So, the ammunition palming. You should be able to now... I don't know how it worked. I need to read it, to be honest. Let's have a good, let's have a read. Controls for ammo palming. Up on the touchpad slash joystick, drop front most round. It's going into a quick belt slot if it can be done into a round. Collect down on touchpad. Okay, so if we have, let's just move these new guns over here. We'll get to them in a second. If we hold this and we push down. Ah. Uh, Okay, and then if we push up, we start dropping them, and we can also, a bit fiddly, okay, I understand how it slightly works, we can also stack a bunch of bullets in there, which is nice. Uh, we've got a new slot here, which I like, is my favourite new feature that isn't a new gun. And, and you can cycle through those bullets when you have them in your hand by pushing left and right on the trackpad. We'll quickly show you like so. As you can see, we've got our three different bullets, which is nice. Uh, it's up to drop. Okay. Uh, sorry, I've got the sniffles as well. I've been out. And we got the new guns. 
Um, I think that's a bunch of bug fixes, of course. So yeah, let's have a look at these new guns. Uh, let's switch over to that so I can check something. Okay, so let's have a look at the new guns. Let's slide over here uh, before we do that. So what was the new gun that we got? New attachments, uh, new firearm, SCAR-16. So I'm guessing those are the two guns. Let's go into here because I don't know which one's the 16 and which one's the 17. I'm guessing that's 16, just having a guess. So SMGs, rifles, assault rifles. I'm going to guess it's under. There's the SCAR-16. It's got this sight and we'll load it with a Stanek 2 round. So we can also show off... Um, Ooh, tracking just went a bit funky there. Show off this new slot here, which is my favourite thing added. If we put the gun in here, and then we click on it with the trackpad, middle of the trackpad, it goes green. Now what does that mean? Well, that's actually a very nice feature. Let's say we have a pistol in our second slot. We, we go and bang, 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 bang. Ran up. Actually, do you know what? Let's not just say, let's do. So, let's grab this. Uh, so we got a pistol in our second slot. So we, we're firing down range. Oh God. Here's this. All right, so we're out of ammo, but a guy is coming. We drop the gun, snaps there, and we open down range for our other gun. That's because this is basically a harness slot, you know, like you'd have the sling. So it basically falls back when you drop it, no matter where you drop it. Which is very nice. A lovely feature. Going to make rapidly switching to a pistol far more easy. So yeah, that was the stand, um, the scar. Let's drop down the range. Uh, set it to clear five. Go to distance. Clear that. And let's see this in more action. So... Can I bump this? Yes, you can bump it. You can see the attachment rails. It's got side ones, under barrel, and top. Let's try aiming this. I don't like this sight. So it's got a pretty nice cluster at five meters. And so that's a good thing. So let's bump it again. That is a decent clustering. Okay, let's drop that and drop that. Uh, next gun. So we've got the, the SCAR-17, which I don't know where it is in this thing. Let's have a look. So where would SCAR-17 come under? That's the SCAR-16. Is it under carbines? No. Battle rifles? Ah, SCAR-17 comes under battle rifles. And what's this new? It's a different Stanag? A round drum. Okay. That is quite the round drum. And it will stack into there. Let's put this in here. Now, as for this um, feature, according to this thing, it says... I'm going to read officially off the thing now. Uh, whereabouts was it? It works with... Scroll. I, can't, I hate scrolling with this trackpad. New quick belts harness system. Uh, all non shorty shotguns. So, non shorty shotguns, SMGs, and rifles can be harnessed. It's still experimental and may have a few glitches. So, let's load this. Fully auto. Clean. And let's see how much of different of an aiming this is with the, the other scar. That's the round drum. Pretty good clustering. Can bump it like the other one. Let's try one-handed. Decent. Bit more higher spray, but we've got a bigger clip here, haven't we? That makes sense. Uh, let's unlock that. Unlock that. Next gun. Let's try and do them in order so I don't miss any guns. Um... 
Oh, he also has the box magazine and the drum magazine. 20 box, 50 drum. Um, we've got the Remington Rolling Block 1867 handgun. Okay, so pistols. Uh, let's just spin around and make sure we don't tie ourselves up. Oh, breech loading. Ah, this will be navy. Let's spawn lock one of these. How does this work? Ah, you got a breach there. Okay, so up on the trackpad opens and closes the breach. Right. Oh god, that's going to be difficult to aim down. Let's try and get the center. Decent, so we need to press up on the trackpad, fires out the round, or the spent shell. Okay. Hmm, not too bad as a gun. Be an absolute pain in a firefight. But, yeah. Ah. Not too bad. Could spin that around. Okay, so that's another gun down. So that was the new pistol. They added a new ammunition type, the 50 Remington Black Powder. That'll be for that gun. And a new ammo drum for the RPK, which will be that. Good. Oh, so this was differently named before. You know what? Let's use it like you're supposed to. Oops, I just whacked my trackpads. My, um... One second. I need to stack that back up. That was my tracking station that I just hit, the radio station. So if we just stick that there... Oh, no. Uh... Tracking's just going funky. I'm going to need to recalibrate after this. That was my mistake. So if we get a drum and we stick it there. This used to be named as a different gun. Like so. Then we safety off. Okay, clear that, and let's, oops, unleash hell. And that is some beautiful clustering. That's basically just me moving. So if I had a clearer to see sight, I bet you something like that. Slide on here. Yeah. Uh, it's Russian, so I have to do it like that. I'm down on my knees currently. Get in there, that's slightly fiddly. Okay. Safe. Safety's still off. That's pretty decent, so let's see how fast we can load this. I said how fast we can load it. I can see that working. So we gotta... Like so. Like so. Doing it like suppressive fire. Out, back down into cover it would be, and in with the gun. Nice. Oh, oh, they've got that thing. Oh, so for anyone who doesn't know, that's for working out rain. For if you know the range, 
compensating for drop. Uh, so basically, as you lift that up, that's compensating more. So what you need to do is you need to line that thing up like so. That would be like zero drop. Can I read on this thing? I don't know what it's measured in. I can't remember, but that's maximum drop. So if we aim... For example, look how high we're aiming on there. Yeah. Oh, my knees. That was a bit difficult. Um, is that everything we've got? Is the question. That might be everything. We could have a bit, a bit of a mess around. Could. Hmm. Let's try using this. So we want to go to spawn option. No. Drop it. Return to main menu. Let's try something different. Well, not different, but... Um... You know what I mean. Let's go back to the breach prototype. This is always a fun one to do. And let's try out one of the new guns. In breach prototype. Actually, no. Let's try doing a breach prototype. With a P90. Tactical laser, of course, because we're going internal. P90 mag. Stack that there. Like so. Actually, let's do that. Um, I thought we could stick a laser on. What about so we stick the laser on? Oh, it's up here, isn't it? I forget. How many round was this? Oh, I forgot how to... That should be working. There's the laser. Excellent. So, let's switch it back over. Loading our mag. Oh, that slides a bit smoother now. Safety off. Like so. And let's try it with... A decent pistol as like backup and we'll pretend that we've run out of ammo like we were saying before so let's say you know what i feel like a tech nine so we load the tech nine we have a tech nine on backup so let's pretend we're breaching so we've gonna spawn Hot dogs. So let's pretend we, um, let's try it here. So it be, oops. Right, ammo and panic. Yeah, I can see that. That's how the sliding mechanism would work. The that and the sliding mechanism is so nice for doing something like that. Getting decent at shooting off the heads. I'm surprised. However, I still need to practice on dropping that clip, the gun, the pistol back in. So let's finish off this area, and that'll finish off this experience. Yeah, video, that's it. Look at the latest updates. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, consider hitting that like button. Any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. That's if possible. Relative ammo. Stay well. Uh, wait, no, let's do that properly. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Answer me possible. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Stay well. And Survivor out, yeah? Oh, don't forget, um, I'm currently streaming Sky. Oh, hello. That's a new bug. Hello, under the world.
Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh, ha ha. Ah. So we can shoot from underneath the well. Ha ha. So yeah. Um, streaming Skyrim. I've just messed up my outro completely. So you know what? Uh. Right, set, reset, uh, oh, hello, I ghosted through the floor, right, so yeah, um, you can follow me on Twitter for live show announcements, it'll also be announced on YouTube, this has gone to shambles, stay well, and Survivor Out, it was a fun update, I have to say. <laughs>